The execution of John Allen Muhammad has been carried out under the laws of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Shortly after D.C. sniper John Allen Muhammad was pronounced dead, Greensville Correctional Center spokesman Larry Trailer told reporters there were no complications and Muhammad made no final statement. Death was pronounced at 9.11 p.m. Muhammad died by lethal injection more than seven years after a series of shootings that terrorized the Washington, D.C. area for three weeks. Mohammed never testified during trial or explained the string of attacks. After he was placed on the gurney and strapped down, he was very emotionless. He watched a bit of the procedure that was being done on him. Uh, but uh, after that was completed and the curtains were opened back up, he had his head tilt, tilted slightly to the right and his eyes were closed, and that's the way he remained. Mohammed's attorneys say he insisted on his innocence until the end. But the lawyers also offered condolences to the families of the victims and to Mohammed's own children. To all those families and the countless citizens across the country who bore witness and continue to do so to those tragic events, we renew our condolences and we offer our prayers for a better future. Associated Press reporter Dina Potter was among the witnesses to the execution. And while he died, it was very quiet. Um, someone coughed. You could hear someone's stomach growl. It was very quiet. A little bit of shifting in the seats. Um, when they came out and pronounced him dead at 9-11 p.m., one of the, the citizen witnesses turned to the person to her right and said, interesting. And that was really the only word that was said. A number of protesters gathered outside the prison who said despite the carnage, Mohammed did not deserve to die. Our view is that even in cases like this, uh, adding another death to the tally is not the best way to handle the situation. Ten people were murdered at the hands of Mohammed and his teenage accomplice, Lee Boyd Malvo. Mohammed was put to death specifically for killing one of those victims, Dean Harold Myers, whose brother Robert watched the execution and said afterwards it was a point of closure, but also left him overcome by sadness. Malvo, who was 17 at the time of the shootings, pleaded guilty and is serving a life sentence. The two were also suspected of shootings in several other states, including Louisiana, Alabama, and Arizona. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.